Lefty, what's happening, fellas? Check out this classic king of the road, Harley Davidson. Actually, it's a road king, but the one that uh, they designed this off of was called the king of the road. For obvious reasons, it's the top of the line Harley Davidson FLH chassis. This is a factory original two-tone paint. This is a rare, rare, rare one owner bike owned by the same family since it was purchased brand new 22 years ago. Now, typically most Road Kings will get passed around like a, a tuxedo every year uh, to a, a new prom date. You know, uh, people buy Harleys and sell them, buy them and sell them. Very rarely do you find someone who keeps one original, pristine condition. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. The chrome on it looks like brand new. The paint job's like brand new and it's mechanically perfect with a new set of tires on it. Brand new front tire, rear tire is probably 90% tread. Check this out. It still has the original, look at this. It still has the original plastic covering that you peel off after you buy it on the, uh, on the ignition right here. They left it on there. Um, it, it's still got some of the original wrapper on it. This that's thing's an that's absolute- That's steering head lock, not the- uh... Steering head lock, I'm sorry, steering head lock, but that peels right off. They left it on to protect it. This thing is absolutely pristine and it's got some cool accessories like the highway pegs and the, uh, the rider's backrest and the passenger's backrest. It didn't come with these stock from the factory. This is a Road King Classic. The Road King Classic has these beautiful leather bags on it and it has the uh, white wall tires and the spoke rims. This is a sequential port fuel injected model. It also has an upgraded set of Screaming Eagle mufflers on it. Uh, we priced out a new Road King this, this morning. Um, you're looking at $27,000 out the door for a two-tone 2022 or 23. Harley Davidson Road King, the same bike as this. With if you, you buy a brand new Road King, put a backrest. That didn't that wouldn't include the exhaust system on it. So probably 27, 5, 28 grand. They've gone up a lot. I have all every bit of paperwork on this bike, and I'll show that to you in a second after I do the riding demo. The uh, every I have the original factory packing list on the crate. I've got the the pre-delivery checklist, the title, the, the original dealer invoice, everything. This was out the door. 17,000 and change uh, 20 years ago. Of course, now they've gone up with inflation that they're almost $30,000. So uh, why buy a brand new one when you can get this like new one for a fraction of the price? And not only that, it's gonna cost you a lot less on your, uh, your property taxes on a $30,000 bike or a lot less uh, on, a, on a bike that's less than half the price. Your, your insurance, your insurance, your property taxes will be probably 70% off of what it would be on a new bike but it runs and rides just like a new bike. It's got the triple disc brakes, um, has the, uh, the running lights. And let me, let me show you something pretty cool here about the Road King. Check this out. This, is, this windshield here pops right off like that. Now you've got, if it's a hot summer day, it's 80, 90 degrees out. You're down in Florida or up in Connecticut around July. It sucks to have a windshield because frankly, you're not being cooled off. You pop that off and you're golden. It's got the highway pegs. Zoom in and show them the paint job on the tank. It's absolutely pristine. There's not, I don't see a single nick or, or it's got like more wax on it than a candle. They just put two coats on it at the, uh, at our detail shop. Just went through a full rotisserie detail. Lance Merton, our PhD, Harley licensed technician that works for us, who worked at the Harley dealer for many moons, went through the bike and gave it a full service. All the fluids have been changed. The front brake fluid's been flushed out and changed. The rear brake fluid's been flushed and changed. The tranny oil has, gear oil's been changed. The primary chain case oil has been changed. The engine oil is brand new and it's got a new oil filter. Uh, I'll grab the work order so I don't forget anything, but it, it's been given a complete full service. It has a new battery in it. Check out the condition of the seat. The saddle's like brand new. Um, the fit and finish on this bike is absolutely impeccable. The, the paint on the motor, this is, is, is absolutely perfect. There's no chipping of any paint, no, no degradation of quality or pitting on the chrome. It was stored indoors by a family that, that had 10 bikes, including um, a bunch of dirt bikes that we bought from them too. And you can see the, the finish on the front fender, the finish on the front wheel. Zoom in on, show them the, the, the wheel. It's, it's phenomenal. Um, it's like a new motorcycle. The only, the only degradation of quality I saw anywhere on the finish was a little, see this right here in the clear coat on the front forks? 
We've put, we've taken a hundredth anniversary, two thousand three Harley. Anniversary, 90th 93. anniversary. What year was that? Ninety three. Ninety three. Out of the crate, we we we've pulled a Harley out of the crate, and it had that. So that's not from riding on the road. It's just the clear coat quality on the lower aluminum forks. It's a um, reaction, and it and it it, uh, it 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 has that funny little checking on it. But the chrome on the headlight is like brand new. The the uh, handlebars. There's no evidence of this bike. This, this bike has never been dropped. Still has the original reflectors on it. Uh, has it, there's none of that Mickey Mouse um, live to ride, ride to ride, ride to ride, uh, live to ride, ride to live chrome on it. It's got the original factory chrome on the on the primary chain case cover. It looks like it just came out of the box. The exhaust is is perfect. The kickstand, the run in boards, um, just a pristine one owner. A couple nice accessories too, like the, these are the uh, covers for the uh, head bolts. That th those are um, a nice option that they put on there. Um, just a beautiful piece. Check out these bags. They're like brand new. They look like a, an old school leather bag and it's a super high quality leather. This leather is 22 years old, guys, or 20 years old and it looks brand new. Look, in, look inside the bag here. It's, um, it's like brand new. Absolutely perfect. So both of the bags. So Junior, you any thoughts about this? You took this for a ride this morning too. I did, got it, got it out on West Main, opened the throttle up, just super smooth. That's the first thing that, that I, that I know, notice these rubber mounted FLH chassis, Road Kings, just tremendous for all day riding and the seat is ridiculous. I was like fully reclined with my feet up on this thing and uh, I just wanted to take, uh, take my girlfriend to the beach on this thing. Yeah, and you have a backrest for her too. This is an option. It did not come from the factory with the luggage rack or the backrest. Today, this has set you back, well, about 600 bucks. How do I know? Well, I bought one for a 2022 Lowrider ST. It was over $600. And then of course the rider's uh, backrest, this is another option. And it's got a, a nice uh, pouch on the back here where you can uh, uh, put your gloves or whatever. Yeah, the, seat, so, the seat on this bike is ridiculous. It's ready for touring. They, uh, Harley Davidson makes a luggage uh, bag that goes in the back. I bought one for my for the Lowrider ST that we're doing a build series on. It's about that tall. It gives you more storage than you would get in a tour pack. So, so you get basically the same storage as you would on a full dresser, but you get the stripped down looks of the Road King Classic. You can't beat the white walls and the, the chrome, uh, chrome rims. So anyways, if you have any questions about it, give us a call 860-454-7024. You can see the, uh, the rear, look, check out the rear rim. Even the chrome on the rear rim is in perfect condition. Uh, a lot of times people don't maintain their bikes like, like this family had maintained their bikes. The chrome on the, on the exhaust pipe is excellent. There's not a single scratch. Uh, I haven't seen a single scratch anywhere on this bike, have you, Kenny? I mean, like, try to find a defect on it somewhere. No, it's beautiful. It looks like a new bike. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. So if you have any questions, give us a call. If you're looking for a like new Road King for half the price or less of a new Road King, give us a call. If you're looking for a bike for all day comfort, a bike to ride cross country or take to the beach or as a daily commuter, well, your ship has come in. I can't think of a better bike in the Harley Davidson lineup than the Road King. In fact, um, I bought one of these brand new. The first year they came out with the Road King in 1994, I bought the black and silver one. So I had one of these brand new. It's a fantastic motorcycle. Want to ride down for the uh, demo?
all the hallmarks of a well-maintained bike. Not only is it cosmetically perfect, it's also electrically perfect. All the lights, the turn signals, the hazard lights, electric start, the high beam, the low beam, the fog lights, the tail lights, everything works 100% on this bike. This is a no excuses Harley Davidson Road King in a stunning two-tone red and silver paint combo with the big fat white walls. As good as it gets, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck bidding and God bless America. Guys, this is all the paperwork that you'd ever get with a brand new Harley. And we actually added up the 22 Road King is $20,754 plus a $1,000 Harley surcharge. Freight prep, conveyance fee, plus taxes came to $25,312, then $600 for the backrest, $25,912. That doesn't include the rider's backrest or the pipe, so um, exhaust system. So about just under $27,000 to buy a new one. This one, you'll see the invoice was 17 and change. Here's the original Harley Road King motorcycle paper container. The freight uh, packing list for the FLHRC. This is an Aztec orange and ice colored. Um, that's for the freight. This is the uh, actual invoice, invoice for 17105 plus freight prep uh, registration and everything else. He traded a bike in, um, but you can see it was just around 18,000 and change out the door. Uh, here's the 200. Back then, you could buy a backrest and luggage rack for 260 bucks, but they're double that now. Um, that's the receipt for that. This is the uh, another one of the invoices that's for putting the rack on. This is the motorcycle dealer setup in pre-delivery checklist. Usually, all the stuff is lost once it goes through five or six hands, which most bikes would be at this point. Here's the Harley Owners Group patch. Uh, the Harley Davidson Welcome to Life's New Jerseys, the motorcycle riding tips, the Harley Owners Group literature, uh, the break in procedures, which were obviously uh, followed. I want to show address on the title. Uh, here's the title right here, um, which is clear, clear and open. So, Transfer probably the most important cycles. document. Then we've got the service documents, everything we went through on the bike here. I, I, I kind of went over quickly. We've got a new oil filter, new inspection cover gaskets, new uh, drain O-rings, set of rear brake pads, uh, DOT5 brake fluid, set of spark plugs, a new crank sensor, a sensor a, he put a new front motor mount on it, needed a new front motor mount, so he put that on there. Oh, I almost forgot to say, new, new handlebar bushings too. The rubber mounted bushings, and those, those uh, need to be replaced after time. So brand new handlebar bushings, new 2050 uh, motor oil, uh, Corda Bell Ray gear lube, Corda Bell Ray transmission fluid, uh, new battery tender lead so you can plug the thing in when you get home and a set of rear brake pads. So pretty extensive parts list. We went right through the bike. Of course, the guy we bought it from um, didn't disclose it needing any of those items, but we do a full 100 point inspection. Our, our techs are Harley certified. Lance is a Harley Davidson PhD technician. So got a pretty extensive work order for total uh, to do all those, install all those items and also do a full detailing. It was steam clean, hand washed, degreased. Uh, all the chrome and aluminum parts were polished. The tank was polished, the fenders, the side covers, cleaned the saddlebags with leather cleaner, the tires, the windshield, and the grip. So it's detailed to the nines, what we call a rotisserie detail. It took uh, Kenny Strong, who's uh, also a Harley Davidson detail specialist who worked at the Harley shop detailing bikes. He spent a six hour day detailing it, and it was in service for eight and a half hours. So with parts and service, the total came to $1,601. So, um, all the fluids changed, primary chain case, transmission, engine, oil with filter, brake fluid flush with new DOT5, the handlebar risers were installed, adjusted the foot pegs a little bit lower on the highway pegs, um, put the battery tender on it, um, went through the whole bike, replaced the crank sensor, um, full electronic inspection, mechanical and cosmetic, completely gone over. So the new brake pads, it's ready to go. Plus here's our, two-page multi-point checklist. Everything was checked out on it. The keys are in the uh, passenger backrest, so everything's there. It's, 
No, this is what we call a no excuses bike, fully serviced, fully documented, full provenance, one owner, road king, that's essentially cosmetically brand new and mechanically perfect. Um, if you wanna find a, the only way you can get a nicer bike than that is to buy a brand new one. It's, 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 uh, it's been depreciated financially because it's not brand new, but it's, it's a like new bike. So whatever you buy it for today, it'll be worth that much next year and the year after, and it's actually past the depreciation curve at 20 years, they start going up again. So um, your registration insurance taxes will be a lot less and you're gonna have lots of fun with no post-purchase dissonance. You didn't spend 30,000 bucks on a bike you're gonna use uh, for recreation. So Kaplan America approved purchase for sure. Love these Road Kings, I had one myself. Buy it with assurance, it's a great bike. Thanks for watching, God bless America.